Even if I make it out of one continuous design, a Dredgenesian castle doesn't count as one object. Just blow them out of the airlock is not a backup first contact protocol. Even if it's totally feasible, I can't indefinitely stall our rivals with a bureaucracy check. My panzer hand doesn't get a vote. Smartass is not a character role. I can't have any feet in the main book if the feet is written in pencil. In the middle of a Black Ops, I can't download several thousand songs on the target's computer and then call the RIAA. There is no such thing as ambiguously elven. Even if he is chaotic evil, I can't turn state's evidence against a fellow party member. Even if the boss monster has 100% magic resistance, my wizard can't just go catch a movie. I will keep rolling until I get a superpower I can actually use. I cannot have any gun that has an NPC-only trigger guard. Even if they never suspect it, my Jedi can't have a flamethrower. No, we can't see if the party can beat Temple of Elemental Evil in under an hour. I will stop trying to put the Halflin in a diabetic coma. If I'm just a few XP from 16th level, I can't just cast fireballs at random forests until I hit something. I can't have a gun that treats buildings as light cover. No matter what the dice just said, I didn't kill the villain with the first shot of the combat. Elves do not have to go to the bathroom in groups. Penguins will not fit in a standard ether jar. The Vulcan neck pinch doesn't work in campaign without Vulcans. Just because my sword is intelligent doesn't mean he can do my math homework for me. It's a stranglehold, not an ogren neck pinch. Your certain women are not instantly recognizable by their beards. Even if the rules allow it, I can't hit stone with the Stone Cold Stunner. Having more beer than the enemy doesn't give me a morale bonus from the mass combat chart. No feat allows me to open beer cans with my pecs. The Death Star does not need a cabin boy. Overused cliché is not an appropriate favored enemy. I cannot gain drama dice in games I am not actually in. It's okay if you name your kindred Alucard, but I still can't name my Garu Namflo. No matter how low orc intelligence, they aren't going to fall for a large wooden horse outside the gates of Mordor. Head, heart, run is not our posse's motto. No matter how much sense it makes, we can't paint the glitter boy a camo scheme. My first act as executive officer can't be a mutiny. Not allowed to use the replicator and transporter to fill the bird of prey with jello. I can't take invisibility to detect invisibility. My fighter can't use the monster manual as a to-do list. No making up patron saints. No part of the adventure is clothing optional. No matter what the dice say, I didn't just seduce Chun-Li and Kami. It takes more than one pickpocket roll to totally derail the campaign. I can't wish that somebody competent wrote this module. Even if the game is dreadfully repetitive, our party is motto can't be wash, rinse, repeat. I will not point out that Drow Matron would make more money as an exotic dancer, even if it's true. Must at least pay lip service to the meta plot. It's not possible to stampede dwarves. When told to pick a published superhero to play, Johnny Cash is not allowed. Paul Stanley is perfectly acceptable. There is no such thing as a strap-on beard. It doesn't matter if we took the large advantage, we aren't using the Ursarin as ballast. I will address the other PC of Lord Tyrion, Eldric Knight of the Winter Court, and not just as the Sidri male. Even if the rules disagree, my character can still drown. I cannot take the following as my favorite enemies, Southpaws, Mother-in-Law, or Keynesian Economists. Even if I'm being shanghaied into playing a rather crappy campaign, can't use Constitution as a dump stat. We aren't luring the Arasaka agents out of the safe house by making ice cream truck noises. Splitting the atom at will is not an acceptable superpower. Ignore the metaplot is also not an acceptable superpower. No, the answer to the problem is not to make a Gatling gun out of bazookas. Can't base my character off a of smurf. Even if I could base my character off a of smurf, Gurkha smurf was not a real smurf. No matter what the dice say, my Renaissance inventor didn't just invent spaceflight. If the villain's three-room lair holds over 100 brutes, can't just tip off the fire marshal. No rerouting the roller coaster through the Umbra. Can't blame it on my gun. Will not retrofit the Federation starship with fuses. 
Heavy bolters don't come with a pistol grip. I will stop referring to my rogue as a freelance subterranean locksmith. The lockpicking kit must be more than a sawed-off shotgun. Dwarves are physically incapable of performing the Dance of the Seven Veils. Even if the guy I based my character off was famous for doing it, I can't kill eight guys with one bullet. Weapon-focused nukes is not a real feat. There will not be any sex in other players' battle mechs. My paladin can be charged with sexual harassment if he doesn't watch exactly where he lays on hands. Any character that makes a seasoned Rifts player flinch is vetoed and shall never be spoken of again. I can't check the Soul Forge in as baggage. Will not reanimate dead familiars just to keep them around for sentimental reasons. Freeing slaves out of just as good, out of spite, not so much. No, I can't have an HR Geiger counter. An elf wardancer chick and nothing but body paint is totally hot. A Vestin berserker and nothing but body paint, not so much. Basing characters off gestalt of historical characters is fine unless it's Miyamoto Musashi and the mom from What's Happening. Gold dragons do not conduct electricity better than other dragons. The two primary types of halflings are not Flathead and Phillips. My mad scientist does not get to divide the party into control and test groups. For the last time, the elf wears the maid disguise and the troll wears the bouncer disguise. There is no such thing as a gnomish pygmy seeing eye rhino either. Just because I can play a charismatic, vested manjineer missionary cleric doesn't mean I should. My Buddhist monk will lose the Cockney accent. Let's not taunt the Minotaur with how appropriate you fight like a cow. I will spend my martial arts technique points on things other than blocking and running away. And if the rules allow it, a laser sight doesn't add to my chain gun's accuracy. Yes, even if I have one on each barrel. I will refrain to take character roles that the game forgot to make any rules for. Just because I'm playing an anthropomorphic Emperor Marmoset doesn't give me the noble advantage for free. Cannot bribe the target's HR director to start Casual Friday just to make our upcoming Black Ops easier that week. I can't avoid plot-mandated ambushes no matter how hard I try. No, I can't have a Mage Lock Mini Slugger. I will not spend all my freebie points buying Quanta Kinetic Auxiliary Modes. No, we can't weld the Star Destroyer's bridge shut. There is a 100 XP penalty every time we remind the GM of the Bionic 6. If the adventure includes the birth of a god, we still can't file for holiday pay that day. In the middle of a Black Ops, I can't compose an offensive joke on the target CEO's email and CC the entire company.